Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Magnus, and today we're going to do some object modification. I've added a few new rules just to make this easier, and I also added a bunch of new hosts, or not a lot, but a few. So, if you see here, I added a new section for DMZ servers. So, one change that you may encounter here, or maybe you want to do. So, for example, you get the ticket like, yeah, we want to add web front number three. Okay, so let's add web front number three. So if you don't already know it, you can right click and then you can do clone. So if you do clone, it's a lot easier to create new objects, especially if they are in like order or whatever. But this is one way that you can add new objects. The problem with this one is, first of all, it didn't uh, run into this like uh, rule. So then you need to do like this. You need to add it. Okay, recently used is, is still here. So like plus, okay. You need to find all the rules where this is located. This is possible. You can do like this. So you can right click on the web front end and click where it's used. So when it's used you see here ah okay i have a group called like dmz servers is this one used in the rule base where used so the dmz group is not actually used in the rule base so this is a bit pointless but having a group when it comes to like rules like this this is better so let's see like this so the web front end number two is included in these three policies. I mean, if it's only three, of course, you can do like jump here and it will move. And then you can do like easy to, to like press. I want to have this one, go to the next one and then press. And this will work even if it's like 300 roots or 4,000 rules or whatever, it will still work. But it's not really efficient. Um, so in this case, I would do like this. So if I want to add web frontend 3, like we did, first of all, I need to make sure uh, how does this group look. So we can open this group. And we see like, yeah, it's included web front one and two. Yes, so it's more clear. We can add a little one here. So my OCD doesn't <laughs> destroy something. But then we can do like this, plus. Okay, we have added web front three. Okay. But this is still not used in any rules. Like when we did do where it's used here, it's not uh, visible in any rules. It's not used anymore. So we can do like this. We can actually press replace. So we want to replace this object in all of these policies. And we want to replace that with group DMZ servers. So what will happen now, instead of having this object, we will have this object. And if we press here, we are able to replace it under each of this firewall rule. So imagine if you have 300 firewall rules. We can still do replace. And now all has been changed. So there is still a drawback with this one. I mean, we have web frontend one and web frontend three. Let's test if we can do the same. Where used, replace in all policies, group DMZ. Let's see if it works. It did. <laughs> so if you have 300 rules or whatever, you can still do like this. So you can still do on each single one where it's used, go to the policies, replace, select group DMZ, 
press this one, replace. Now we have effectively moved everywhere where we did have the web front end, whatever, and use this object instead. So where is used is very powerful if you want to see if you have a large rule base and you want to see where are where is this uh, host actually in used or this object in used. So remember last time when I created my like host IP for my own PC. So if I have 400 rules or whatever, I can like scroll by and check or I can just do, uh, I can search for my, I think I call it Magnus, yeah. Magnus Awesome PC. Then I can just right click where used and double click on it. And it will show me where in the rule base is this in use. So where used is something that is super powerful and that you should use. And you will use it a lot if you work with checkpoints. So how if we want to remove something from the rule base? Well, I will just show you like this. So first of all, if we say like, yeah, we have this SFTP server here and we want to remove this object, like we get a decommission on it. Okay. So 80, 80, 80, 91. We want to delete it, delete, delete object. And this fails because you're unable to remove something from the rule base. You're unable to remove an object from the object database if it's used within the rule base. So first you need to clean it up. And if it's only one like this, it's fairly easy. You can just go here and you can do like, yeah, delete this one, delete, refresh. So now it's not in use and delete object. I mean, it's possible. But let's say we want to remove this Magnus Awesome PC and it's included in more rules. Like now it's included in, in four rules. Four rules is still not a hassle, but if it's 100 rules, it's a hassle. Then we can actually do like this where it's used we can press replace we can press policy here and we can actually use this one non remove item so let's see here so we do replace and you see this is lost in cell so first question will it work let's try it Replace. Now it's removed from everywhere within the rule base. We can do refresh here and we see that it's now removed. And we also see here, rules will never be matched. So this is none. This is not any, this is none. This means that this rule is ineffective. It will not work anymore. So this one can be deleted. So delete. So that was object replace. So that, so that was where it's used, object replace and object remove. So what if you have a bunch of stuff in, in your database, like here, like I have 72 objects here. So I don't know in which, uh, which video it was, but I think it was the last one. Then we created a billing server group with a range for all of these servers. Instead of having all of these servers within this, this group, we added a range. So if I want to remove all of this, yeah, I can do like this and delete. And hopefully they are not included in any rules and then it will be fine. So you see all of them is deleted, but I mean, now it's fairly easy. Like, yeah, I know these are not in used and I clean it up by myself, etc., etc. Very easy. But what if someone? But what if someone do this group? 
and don't clean up this uh, this groups or this uh, this objects. And instead of sixty six hosts here, it says six thousand hosts, and it's random, like it's not in order. Then it's harder. Then we can use something called unused objects instead, and delete from there. So to do that, first of all, we do publish here, just so we have a clean slate, so to say. And we do this one, uh, object explorer. And here we have a bunch of objects, a bunch of categories. And here you're able to select unused objects. So this is stuff within this object database that is not in used in anywhere within the rule base. So if these would have been randomly like selected within here, we can do delete. Now they are not uh, in the database anymore. So using this and cleaning within this um, unused objects. This is something that is really efficient um, that you can use. And the reason why these ones are not removed, maybe it's because they are located within the billing server stuff. So how this works is that these objects one to how much was it one to uh, 21 and then 41 they are used because they are within a group but the group itself this billing server group where it's used it's not used anywhere so this is an unused object so you understand the difference these objects are used because they are in a group but the group itself is unused because it's not within the rule base. So play around with it, check how it works. And um, this can be something cool as well. So it's, so it's important to clean up this from time to time. I mean, if you have hundred objects, it doesn't matter. But if you have in the hundreds and in the thousands, it could be good to do this from time to time. All right. I think that's it. And if you, if I go back to unused objects, they're not here anymore. There's no uh, refresh button. Shakepoint should add a refresh button. But I think that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care.